Oyster House, one of the best places in the world for oysters. And let me tell you something. I'm a victim. Why am I a victim? I was once a victim of childhood food squeamishness. That's right. I wasn't very adventurous in terms of food, and I certainly wasn't going to eat oysters. But guess what? About three years ago, I turned the corner. I got over that. And now I down raw oysters like they're going out of style. And what I'm usually drinking with raw oysters is a wine like New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. I love New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Let me tell you why. This is the Kim Crawford, one of my favorite styles. And check out the screw cap. New Zealand, the Kiwi, the loves from New Zealand have been doing the screw cap for a long time. Learn to embrace the screw cap if you haven't already. It avoids the problem of pork taint and great for wine that's made to drink when it's young. I pour it, a little rainwater in there, a little Seattle rainwater. And you can see already, a nice light wine like this, good pale straw color, it's probably going to be nice and crisp. Mm. Love it. It's so intense, I call it a vinous exclamation point. Or I say, it's so pungent, it's almost fluorescent. It glows out of the glass. A good New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc has a combination of a lemony citrus quality and then also kind of a green herbal quality such that it combines together I call it the century penetrator. Perfect with oysters, perfect with lighter fish preparations. Mark Oldman coming at you from soggy Seattle telling you always please